What's going on everyone? Design Coma here. Welcome back. And the gameplay you're watching is me playing some Hardpoint in Black Ops 3. So the game's a week old. How's everybody enjoying it? Well, I hope everybody's enjoying it. I know there's probably some out there who aren't because, you know, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like it. You know, it, it never fails. It's It's going to start happening. It's just going to be a matter of time. There's going to be people that are going to say this game is terrible, it's the worst, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's inevitable. I really think it's just a matter of time. And eventually we'll start hearing about the I don't like, you know, I don't like Black Ops 3 stories. And what I don't like about, you know, I mean, so far I haven't really found anything I don't like about the game. Uh, for the most part, I I like everything about it so far. You know, I've yet to find anything I don't like about it. You know, of course, some of the maps are better than others. Um, you know, some, and that's just the way maps go. But, uh, um, you know, as far as Exodus goes, that's the map I'm playing on currently in this in this video. As far as this map is concerned, I really like this one. It's it's big. I like the big maps. You know, that's what I like. I like the large maps, and you know, this one's got lots of places to go, lots of buildings. You know, and, and things like that. Unfortunately, I keep trying to boost jump. I don't know how many people out there are still trying to boost jump. I keep trying to boost jump. And my thumb, my left thumb, is really starting to get sore from trying to boost jump. You know, I know you got to click it down just, you know, to sprint, but at the same time, I keep trying to boost jump every time I, every time I jump in the air, and then I, you know, I, I, I jump twice to, to do my thrusters. Uh... I keep trying to boost jump <laughs> so so I don't know if anybody else out there is getting like a sore thumb from you know trying to boost jump but I know I am uh, so what are we going to talk about well I'm going to talk a little bit about the weapon I'm using I'm just going to give you kind of you know my honest opinion about about this weapon uh, I I'm not going to really give any stats or anything like that because to be honest with you there are people out there that do it way better than I do like um, Drifter he's one of the guys one of the youtubers that I frequently go to you know I, I still to this day watch his videos um, and I go there for you know not only to learn how to make my channel better but at the same time I uh, I like the way he does his stats and the way he he breaks it down and everything you know and uh, he's just really good at it, you know, and to be honest with you, I really don't think I could break break it down like that <laughs> Quite the way he does, you know, so I'm gonna leave that job all up to him because that's his thing And he's really good at it As far as I'm concerned what I'm gonna talk about is really just the weapon overall and what I like about it so far uh, In this match all I've really had unlocked for it was the reflex and to be honest with you, I think that's really the one I always end up using on all my assault rifles. I, I try different you know sights on my assault rifles, but for the most part, I always end up going back to the red dot reflex, whatever, whatever they call it, and you know they call it different things in different games. I think in Advanced Warfare is the red dot, uh, I believe. You know, and in this one in Black Ops Three, it's the reflex. Uh, then again, it could have been called the same thing for all I know. But uh, for the most part, I always end, end up going back to the red dot. It never fails. It, it always happens. And to be honest with you, I think that's really the one you should use on the assault rifles all the time. Uh, I just recently did, today, I believe it was today, I unlocked two more attachments. I unlocked the quick draw and the grip. Uh, the quick draw, of course, we all know you just got to have it on the uh, on the assault rifles, you know, so you can get that weapon up as fast as you possibly can. And the grip, you know, it definitely helps with the uh, the recoil. Although, you know, the HVK doesn't have too much recoil. I mean, without the grip, it, it does bounce around a bit. Putting the grip on does help stabilize it a lot more than what it is without it. But... You know, I was doing rather well without the grip, you know, but uh, putting the grip on just makes it even better. Um, you know, so 
as far as you know range goes I really like the range of the weapon you know I enjoy it you know it's it, it's got some good range on it, I, it, it you know it's it's pretty decent uh, but for the most part uh, yeah you know I mean so far I'm really liking it uh, when I did the beta you know when I was doing beta I really like the KM44 over pretty much all of the assault rifles you know for some I was just really attached to the KM44 it was working out well in the beta but you know that was beta you know so uh, when it comes to the weapons now of course there's been some changes since the beta and and things like that so the KM44 is definitely where it probably should be as a first tier weapon you know entry weapon into assault rifles uh, but for the most part you know I haven't really done much with it with the KM44 um, you know but we'll, we'll talk some more about that in another video because right now that's not the weapon I'm using in this one but uh, the HVK you know I'm I'm really liking it I'm, I'm probably going to be using it for the most part until I get to I think the ICR it is I believe it's the ICR I'm really looking forward to, to using that uh, because uh, what I like to do is I'll get into I'll create my own custom matches and I'll just play with bots you know I'll have, I'll have the bots in there and I'll set them on veteran level so it's at least a challenge um, you know for the most part and I'll tell you what the bots in this when you put them on veteran level they're they're not stupid well <laughs> I, well the funny thing is is you know I was doing it today because I was learning some of the maps and that's what I, that's what I like to do I like to learn the maps and I also like to uh, check out all of the weapons. It's like the best way to check all the weapons out because you get all the attachments and everything. So the funny thing is, is when you when you got them on veteran and you're I forget which map it was, but uh, um, <laughs> you'll see them doing trick shots. You know, you'll see them jumping up and you'll see them jumping off of the the side. You know, out of windows, spinning and do, trying to do trick shots and stuff. It's it's the most hilarious thing and the funny thing about it is is um, I wish I could remember the name of the map but uh, a lot of a lot of times I would see them jumping off and doing trick shots and just landing into the water it's, it's the funniest thing when it comes to bots it's so hilarious maybe one day I'll do a maybe I'll capture it you know I'll, I'll go onto the map and I'll see if I can capture some of the bots doing the trick shotting and just you know jumping off of the wall and landing in the water it's the funniest thing so back to uh, back to the video well back to the video we're still in the video so the story I want to talk about is this guy uh, he did a crazy crazy thing and I'll leave a link to the article in the description I'm just gonna kinda touch on it a little bit but this guy flipped his SUV because he got a phone call from his 13 year old daughter who was at home alone with their seven-year-old, uh, her seven-year-old brother, and apparently the house, well not apparently, but the house caught on fire. The house was on fire. The smoke alarms went off, I guess about 10.30 in the morning, and she uh, frantically called her dad, and her dad just kind of went into flip-out mode, and went into super serious dad mode, jumped in his SUV, and was speeding home, and jumped a curb, or a couple curbs, and flipped the SUV now what happened was is he climbed out of the SUV after flipping it he was only a half mile from his house and ran the west of the rest of the way home he literally flipped the SUV and then ran the west rest of the way home so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a like favorite and subscribe and check out the article because I'll tell you what just about any parent I think would do exactly what this guy did uh, but uh, yeah it was uh, it was quite funny it, it, it was well I don't want to say it was funny but uh, it was a really good article all right I'll catch you guys in the next one